In this video, we're going to cover updating the firmware of your Sync X. Pro Tools will prompt you to update your Sync X as required, and this firmware update must be completed to utilize the Sync X. Please check the latest Pro Tools update information to ensure best functionality, compatibility, and have access to the latest improvements. The update steps are covered in the Sync X guide for review at any time. To successfully update the firmware of your Sync X, it must be connected to the first or primary HDX card in your system or HD native system via the serial port to the host serial port on the Sync X using the provided serial cable. Pro Tools 2021.3 and HD Driver 2020.3 or newer must be installed. This will also install the DigiTest application and corresponding firmware file for Sync X. Before launching DigiTest to update your Sync X, reboot your computer and ensure no other applications are running, particularly Pro Tools. Locate the DigiTest application as well as the Sync X firmware, which can be found in the Avid Utilities folder. Launch DigiTest. DigiTest will display a dialog to remind you that it needs to be the first launched application to access the devices to successfully operate. Ensure the application can see the expected number of cards or devices in the first tab. Choose the Sync Firmware tab. Select the HDX card or HD native device the Sync X is attached to. Depending on your computer or configuration, this may not be the lowest numbered card. If you choose a card that is not connected to the Sync X and push the Begin Update button, you will be presented with a dialog to reset the unit. However, given that in a multi-card system, it may not be immediately clear which card is the primary card, please try the other cards before beginning any recovery processes. When the primary card connected to Sync X is selected, the Begin Update button will direct you to the Sync X firmware folder and the firmware file called syncxfirmware.sy6 installed alongside DigiTest. Select this file, click Open, then Begin Update. Once the update begins, it will take approximately 12 minutes to complete. Do not quit the application or any other action that may interrupt the update. Both the DigiTest application and the SyncX front panel will display progress as the firmware is updating. The DigiTest application indicates the percentage complete and the SyncX front panel indicates the estimated time remaining. Once complete, the DigiTest application will display programmed, then rebooting, and finally completed successfully once the Sync X has completed its auto reboot. When quitting DigiTest, the application will advise you to reboot before using Pro Tools. After rebooting the computer, launch Pro Tools and check that Sync X is enabled and present in peripherals, synchronization, avid synchronization device.